We are now on the Monaco racetrack, and as you probably saw from the thumbnail, there are rumors that this could potentially be the last year for the Monaco Grand Prix. Or, the other rumors are that it's once every two years. Monaco thrives on the Monaco Grand Prix. It's one of the biggest events. Hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna take a break in here. Now we're entering by Casino Square, which is part of the racetrack because we are going down the racetrack. The effect on the economy. I mean, they literally make millions. People who live in Monaco, they rent their apartments, make a fortune out of it. And now with the Grand Prix potentially not happening, this could be a huge problem. One of the most uh, famous uh, parts of the racetrack. We were just at Casino Square now, we're coming down here. Normally this is where they get a hard break. My love for you is guns and roses. the tunnel I mean the thing is these Formula One cars are going down so fast that it is a dangerous racetrack this is so good. I mean if we didn't have Monaco as part of the F1 season it would lose its entire charm it would lose the whole history of it now we're going to be coming up soon to the Raskas, which is one of the other famous corners. Super, super famous. If we were to get onto the paddocks, this would be the way to go in, but we're not, because they're not open. Obviously, here we go. Now this is the straight line. And the thing is, there are other markings on the floor, mostly all the way around, you'll have them, because they redo the whole uh, Monaco, which is one of the other advantages of having the race every year, is that the roads are freshly done every year, which is fantastic. And on that terrible news, it's time to put the car back in the parking. My love for you is gone and